is going on guys welcome back to another video here on the new england sports nation we will be doing a video talk about the al east division of how crazy it has been the al east is the only team is the only division in the um mob league right now by a country mile of all five teams the uh yankees red sox blue jays rays and Orioles, have a 500 record or better and a 500 record or better means that a 500 record is like you have the same amount of wins and losses um so ten, so for example for the Orioles, they're 44 wins and 44 losses right now but they were 500 and better so like they have more wins than losses and all five teams in the AO East, including the red sox are <clears throat> excuse me or five uh over 500 or at 500 so we're going to start with the last place Orioles. um they are currently, like I said, 44 and 44. And the last time I've seen them in 44 and 44 is a pretty long time. So, anyways, fans out there, congratulations. You're getting into the wild card hunt, believe it or not. I know it's not even at the also break yet, but um, to mention that to you guys, um, you guys are in the wild card hunt. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, which is a great thing because I haven't seen them in a while. And I'd like to them to make it. Uh, hopefully, the Red Sox make it, but I'd like to see the Warriors make it as well. Um... But yeah, I think they're like, for, when I'm recording this, they're 9-1 in the last 10. They're on a 9-game winning streak. Um, it's absolutely insane. Um, and yeah, the Orioles made it to 500, and they're playing again. So, if they win tonight, they're over 500. And then if they win, so if the Orioles win the Orioles win the next game, then all ALS teams are over 500. Which is absolutely, because all the other divisions in the MLB, in your MLB league is not even, their last place team is not even close to be 500. And, um, that's how you know this AO East is crazy. Um, and then we go to, uh, fourth place. We got the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, I think there's somewhere around 42 and 48, if I'm not mistaken. I gotta double check. I'll put it up here in the video where they're correct. But if I'm not mistaken, I think they're 42 and 48. Um, but they have been struggling a lot. Um, uh, I think they're like 1 and 9 in the last 10. I think they're on a big time losing streak, um... But they were still 16 above 500, so technically they're still over 500. But yeah, they've been on a streak and if uh, losing streak, and if they keep going like this, um, they're gonna fall behind, and they and my end the thing where all teams are fighting. But we'll see what happens as we get um into All Star break and after All Star break. So yeah, Blue Jays 40, uh 40 and 42, still over 500, but they've been on a big time losing streak. I'm not sure if they have any injuries, um, because I don't really follow them too much, um. But yeah, that is the Blue Jays. And then we go to third place. We have the hometown favorite team, the Boston Red Sox. They were in second place when we streaming game two last night. They lost. So they lost and went back to third place. Um, I think the record is now 47 and 41. So not bad. Um, but we all like four and six in the last time we and I've seen us do better, so I think we can get back on that run. I think we were like eight and two or nine and one, a couple like a month ago or something, which is why we're back in in the uh, wild card here. So uh, yeah, um, Red Sox are doing decent. I just think they can do a little better. That's just my opinion. We'll see what they can do after the All Star break. Um, and yeah, then we move to second place, which the team just got to second place after the. Two straight wins off the Red Sox, unfortunately. The Red Sox better freaking win today. Or well, it's another fun post-game video to be coming out tonight. Anyways, <clears throat> excuse me. The Rays, they are, I think, 48 and 40. So, they're just a half. So, it's only half a game. But the Red Sox got to start winning if it wants to stay half game or come back in the second place. But, yeah. Let's go to the Rays here. So, the Rays, 48 and 40, I'm pretty sure. I'll have the correct records up here in the corner with the team logo. So, that, so all of this will be correct. Me saying this, I'm not 100%. Um, but up here will be correct. But yeah, anyways, back to what I was saying. The Rays, 48 and 40, I'm pretty sure. Um, they've been playing pretty decent. I think they're like 6 and 4 in the last 10. They came off two straight wins off the Red Sox. Um, because the Red Sox freaking gave it to them. Anyways, um, this is about the Rays. So, um, they put, um, Corey Kluber in for the first game. And, I uh, the second game of the series will stream, which is, he's very dominant. Very, very dominant. Ace pitcher. Um, been in the league for years. I respect him. He's awesome. I knew it was going to be a tough game. But Chris Hale was on, and Chris Hale did amazing for the Red Sox. Just a little quick Red Sox thing, sorry. Um, but then when he came out, all hell broke loose from the post game. Anyways, but yeah. Koi Kluber from the Rays pitched very well. Um, had like seven strikeouts, I think. Um, pitched like uh, five, six innings. Um, and yeah. Uh, we'll see what the Rays can do after the All-Star break. Um, and then... 
we go to the best team in baseball right now, which really hurts me to say, but you got the New York Yankees, uh, first place in AL's AL East by like, I think like 14 or 15 games. Their record, I think is like 62 and 25. So this is, they are going on the run like they did when they were winning like World Series after World Series after World Series after World Series back like 20 years ago. Uh, and their last World Series was from 2009, so they're really hoping for another. I hope it does. I don't want to eat. But I know a lot of Yankees fans out there, so congratulations to them. Um, and yeah. So, Yankees, best team in baseball. Um, man, they're, it's, it's really hard to say because I'm a Red Sox fan, but I gotta, I gotta, you know, speak for the world here. But um, yeah, the leading, uh, the American, um, not just American, the whole MLB in like home runs, RBIs, um, runs per game. They're just almost first in everything. So uh, we'll see what they can do in the second half. Um, and yeah, that's crazy. I knew the Yankees were going to be a tough team this year. I did not think they were going to go 62-25 and 25 around the All-Star break, though. That is insane. So um, yeah, congratulations to all Yankees fans out there. But I think that's about going to wrap it up for this little video here. Again, I will be streaming Game 3 tonight of the Red Sox and Rays, where I play by play, at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And then I'll be streaming tomorrow night, Game 4, the last game. Uh, and then I'll figure out other games I can do because there will definitely be a lot more. I'll have a post game out after game three and a post game after game four. And then other little small videos uh, will come on the way. I'm not really sure. Like, this is like this one because I didn't think this one was not planned. And then I thought about it and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. And I did it. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you guys tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern time for game three of the Red Sox and Rays um, game. Hopefully the Red Sox can freaking get a win because they got to win these last two to at least have a series. I'll see you guys tonight. Peace out, y'all. Bye.